Hello. We're here in Madison, Indiana, where we're getting ready to go inside City Hall to hear Mayor Damon Welch announce the new Madison City Police Chief. Come go with us. I guess I should have let you guys just come in and get it a while ago. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming this morning and uh, or this afternoon what I wanted to say first is um, Chief Dan Thurston by the way who will be chief for for another week um, I just wanted to personally thank him for his 24 years on the service of uh, service of the police department and the last five and a half years as chief uh, I jokingly said to him this morning uh, what someone said to me when I first announced I was gonna run for mayor the first time that I don't know what to say, congratulations, good luck, or what the heck were you thinking? But uh, anyway, I, I was telling uh, some of the other officers earlier that uh, I've always tried to uh, look at life this way, that you should never be afraid to uh, try something different if you feel like that's uh, you know what your passion is. And he's certainly given uh, 24 years of his life to uh, the Madison Police Department, and we, we certainly appreciate that. I also wanted to say that uh, since last Friday evening when he uh, announced to me that he was uh, going to uh, go in a different direction and retire from the police department, uh, I've had the opportunity to meet one-on-one uh, -on -one. in a couple of cases. It was two-on-one -on -one with all the uh, members of the Madison Police Department in my office. And uh, I was telling them while ago that, that it was very eye-opening and flat exciting to hear uh, their uh, passion for the police department here and uh, how they're excited about uh, moving forward. Uh, obviously, they, uh, they love Dan. How many times I heard, heard him say, Dan is a great guy. And uh, uh, I said, you talking about the same guy? No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, uh, the exciting thing was that, the, that they all have ideas. Uh, we have a very young police department and uh, we want to move forward with that. And, and I took input uh, from each and every one of them. I wanted to get their input on uh, who they would like to see be chief and assistant chief. And I've tried to, you know, but in the end I have to be the one to make the decision. So uh, I appreciate that. But we wanted to, we wanted to get this process uh, uh, at least for the chief done as soon as possible so we can move forward um, so anyway with uh, that said I hope to have a announcement on the assistant chief uh, early next week and we'll certainly get with you on that so uh, uh, but I am announcing that uh, at this time that assistant chief uh, Jeremy Perkins is uh, will become the new uh, chief and I've had an opportunity to work with with him uh, a lot over the last five and a half years. So uh, uh, I have full confidence that he can move forward with the, with the police department. So thank you very much. Well, you'll be excited to know that the new police chief has a sense of humor. Listen in while he jokes around with reporters from WLKY, WRX, and Kentuckiana News. So were you more inspired to become a police officer by the television show Miami Vice or the film Beverly Hills Cop? Uh, neither. Uh, <laughs> so it was hot fuzz. I think just it's just something that I uh, in in my high school days I just kind of uh, it seemed interesting to me. It seemed like something that I wanted to do. It seemed like I wanted to you know be part of the community, help the community, give back to my community. Um, you know, being part of the city of Madison is uh, you know is what I enjoy about it. Which one is your favorite Teletubby? <laughs> That was one of the hard questions. Lala. Lala. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs or Fruity Pebbles? Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I told you these were tough. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully not used. <laughs> I don't remember what you were going to ask. <laughs> but on a serious note, are you are you excited to take the job? Yes, I'm very excited. I look forward to working with uh, you know working with the the public, working with the city working with uh, Mayor Welch, um, the officers, all of the officers of the department, uh, just looking forward to the opportunity to uh, continue my career here at the Madison Police Department and move forward with the department and with the city as well. Can you take us through a timeline of your career here with the meeting? 
Um, I, I was hired here in uh, 2002. Um, I attended the Law Enforcement Academy in 2002 to th 2003. Um, I've been employed uh, through, through that time, obviously. In 2007, I was promoted to uh, the rank of a senior patrolman. Um, in 2008, I was promoted to the rank of sergeant. Um, in 2008, I also showed interest in by writing a letter to the then chief uh, in the office or the uh, detective division. Um, I was granted the, the position of detective where I served as a detective from 2008 to 2011. Uh, the then mayor asked me to uh, serve as assistant chief under, under the previous mayor um, in 2011 um, as assistant chief, which I accepted and then served that until the end of his term in the beginning of 2012. Uh, when Mayor Damon Welch took over in uh, 2012, uh, he uh, interviewed and, and then kept me as, a, as assistant chief at, the, at that time. Uh, How has your time as assistant chief prepared you to take over as chief? I think, uh, I think obviously being there uh, during committees, during meetings, uh, listening to, to department issues, listening to things from the public, uh, working closely with Dan and with the, the mayor. I think obviously, you know, I, I feel like I'm always there. Um, it's not one of those things where you're separated or you're, you know, you're not, you're not in the picture only when needed. You're, you're there anyway. So I think that it's uh, something that will be, uh, you know, attained, easily attained and, uh, you know, almost like you, you've always done it all along. Now that you are police chief, are there some changes that you'd like to see or implement now that you have the responsibility and power to do so? Um, as I just told the officers um, who were in the room, um, there's some things that, that I think could use some improvement. And I think there's some things that we could improve on. Um, so yeah, I, I plan on having a, a meeting with the whole department um, as a whole. Um, the mayor still has assistant chief to also appoint um, that has not been appointed as of yet. Um, so I do plan on holding a meeting, obviously, after Chief Dan Thurston's term is over here. Um, he's going to be here through at least next Friday. Um, so I plan on having a meeting with the whole department and kind of lay out some of my plans, some of my ideas, some of my thoughts, and some of the things that I'd like to move forwards or move towards, I guess, um, in the in the short coming uh, time. When is your actual first day as chief? I would say that my first day as chief would probably then tentatively be the 27th since Dan's official last day would be the 24th, if I'm somewhere in that, in that area, yes. What's it like following in Chief Thurston's footsteps? Um, obviously, Chief Thurston's been here for 24 years. You know, he's, he's done a lot, uh, been around a lot. Um, I haven't been here that long compared to his 24 years. So, you know, I know that he's done it. I know that he's been through it. And, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to follow in him and, uh, you know, continue with what he's done and what we can move, you know, move forward there from there. How involved have you been in the um, the, um, the renovation, well, not really the renovation, but the renovation of the building for the? Um, actually, I was there. Um, I actually got permission from Chief Thurston and the mayor to be part of it. Um, so I actually did dress down week weeks, I guess you could say. And I actually participated in the demolition. Uh, we had the plans. Um, it showed where we didn't need walls, where we did need walls, the things that we were going to use, the things that we weren't going to use, um, setting up the, getting the dumpsters, getting the semi-trailer to put things in that we were going to keep and try and reuse. Um, there's a lot of things there that we were able to, to store in a semi-trailer that was uh, graciously provided by M&M Towing. Um, so we are, were able to put a lot of things in there that we think we can reuse and potentially save, you know, save some money there by reusing some of the items that were in the building already. So yeah, I was there through, through all of it and we did a great job and you know, with, the, with the help of the city and with the help of the DOC girls, um, they were on it and we, you know, we got, it, got it done in even quicker time than we expected to. What made you the right choice to be police chief? Um, Mayor Welch um, obviously had a few people in mind that were um, you know, potential candidates for this. Um, he talked to each one of us individually. Um, one of my statements, whether or not he utilized that and moved forward with that was, you know, talk to the guys, talk to the guys and the girl, um, and, you know, get their input, get their ideas, get their uh, suggestions. You know, if, if they think that you should go another route, if they think that someone is better served for this position than who you are thinking, you know, let them have some input, let them have a voice, because, you know, there are, 27, 28 of them and one person to serve as their leader. And you know, you obviously want to put someone in that 
position that is going to serve them best. I'm satisfied. I was actually just going to give it to you guys oh, okay. if you'd like. Um, I can read it to you and then I can give it to you. I'll just go through the I'll go through the first part of it and then um, I'll give you the rest of it and it has sort of my bio. Um, first of all, I'd like to express my gratitude to Chief Dan Thurston for his valued and appreciated time serving on the force. I would like to wish him the re retirement from the department that he deserves and wish him well in his future endeavors. Um, policing is really about the men and women you work with. People are willing to risk their lives for you. It's a powerful feeling. I've had the privilege of working with the finest officers and it would be an honor to lead them to continue to cultivate an atmosphere of fraternalism among our officers and to the community that we serve. Additionally, and to continue more firmly establish the confidence of the public, change doesn't come easy. Most law enforcement officers are culturally resistant to change. To balance against the constant state of the unexpected and the unanticipated on the streets, officers depend on an established sense of stability within the department's operational philosophies. These are things that we know not everyone understands. With the input and support from our officers, my goal is to promote leadership within each officer to continue to share values and develop a more collective sense of purpose that will benefit themselves, the department, and the community. To effective, effectively implement necessary changes within the department, these changes must also be welcomed by the department. If I can lead them to create their own culture of change that we will all share, I believe it will be a success. The key in creating this culture is to understand the difference between managing and leading, and I will do my best to remember that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, nothing I can think of. Just like I said, appreciate the opportunity. Appreciate Mayor Welch giving me the opportunity to, uh, to lead this department and move forward from, uh, from here.